11 to 7 shift. Welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna do this intro now just because I feel like the intro you're about to see that I had originally is very chaotic and I look kind of gross. I mean, I look kind of gross now, but it was just, this night shift was very last minute and I was very flustered and nervous because I've never done a night shift before. So here I am actually after my 11 to 7.30 shift. I'm about to go home and I might not go to sleep. But anyway, this is your intro. So let's get into my first night shift ever. <laughs> Guys, so today is April 10th of 2024. Not that the year matters, but anyway, I just got a call from my boss saying that I have, not that I have to, he asked if I could work an 11 to seven shift. Now, listen to this. It is 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. And I actually just finished a 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. shift. Like I'm literally still in my scrubs right now because I work today. And now I'm about to go back to work. What time is it? Currently it is, what time is it, Jamie? 6.53. And I have to be at work in about four hours. It takes me about half an hour to get there. So now I need to go shower. I'm gonna go take like a two and a half hour nap. I need to pack a lunch or dinner or breakfast or whatever we wanna call it. Mm, what else? I've never done this before. This is gonna be the first night shift I ever work and it's gonna be an experience. We'll see how this goes and this will determine if I ever wanna do this ever again. So we're gonna do a little vlog where I do my first night shift. <laughs> yeah, okay, bye. I'm gonna go shower. Jamie is going to be on food duty. He's gonna make food for me so that way I can eat for the next eight hours during my night shift. I think he's making me boiled egg. <laughs> So it's 7.20 now, I just finished showering. Jamie made me boiled eggs, which are still boiling. He just made me a smoothie, which is now in the freezer. I didn't think he'd put the blender in the freezer, but okay. Told me to. Like, like the cup. That's the lid. I'm not worried about the lid, it's not the cup. That needs to be washed. All right, this is it. I'm just going to saran wrap it. Okay, this is kind of exciting. I know I'm gonna be dead, but at the same time, like I need to experience a night shift. Because what medical worker doesn't experience my shift? Fake one. I'm just kidding. Granola too? Okay, what's this rice called? The eggs with the rice. I don't think I'm gonna eat rice. I think I'm gonna eat with salt and pepper. What else did I tell you to pack me? Avocado, half an avocado. It's coming to Just cut it in half and saran wrap it. Why am I screaming? I can't be moving around this much. I need to be winding down and going to sleep. Go sleep, go sleep. Yeah, you can rice. I'll put this in here. I'm trying to make these meals as healthy as possible so that way I can survive the night. Okay, so we got the avocado, the rice, and then pack me some granola. This is going to help me survive. I'm about to do an eight hour shift when I just finished an eight hour shift. In bed. I mean, technically it's two more hours until bedtime, but yeah. Are you gonna watch that? Yeah. Are you gonna go to bed with me? Probably not. You need to sleep by myself? You're gonna wake me up at 9.30 when you decide to go to sleep? Or are you gonna stay up until I have to wake up? I'm, my alarm's set for 10, so I guess might as well just stay up till 10. Okay. And then when I leave, you can go to sleep. You got strawberries, you got strawberries. Oh yeah, strawberries. Smoothie. You can tell this is gonna be a very chaotic vlog. I also plan on going to work like this. So when I wake up, I'm gonna brush my teeth, wash my face, put my glasses on, put my hair up in a bun like this, put on my scrubs, and I'm just going to leave. And Jamie is currently doing the nicest thing ever in making my lunch and food because it is an eight hour shift, a full shift, and I have to make sure I have food. I need to fill up my water, I need to go to sleep. It's really bad that I'm frantic and energized right now because I need to be winding down and go to sleep because I literally will only get about two hours of sleep assuming I go to sleep right now. Okay, we actually need to pack my backpack. And look, I was actually planning on a video that was supposed to go out on like Friday or Sunday. And now I can't because I'm about to work at night shift. Very last minute. Okay, I know it looks like I don't have pants on, but I swear I'm wearing shorts, okay? Here's my backpack. Currently, this is it. I'm sure you've seen it if you've been watching my channel. It's my backpack with all the flags of the places I've been to before. We are going to pack my handy dandy journal that I was just writing in because I was planning my next video. But now that video is gonna have to get delayed because I won't have time to film it, obviously. It's just my medical laboratory professional's the science behind the scenes riddle, and then it came with a pen. So this pen actually goes in this little slit here. Good deal. Okay, so this is going in here. What else? 
Should I bring a book? No, I have my Kindle. I'll read my Kindle. Here's my hand in a Kindle. I actually bring this Kindle to work with me every single day and I either read on my lunch breaks or breaks if I have one. Back in there. Mm -mm. What else? Is that it? I don't know what else to pack. Journal, Kindle. I mean, it's night shift. I should be busy, right? Like, there should be stuff for me to do. I mean, it might be really slow because, like, people are sleeping, but also. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna get the night shift difference. That's gonna be good. Jamie! Oh, okay, he heard me. So, I'm gonna be making two more dollars, about two more dollars than what I already get because it's night shift. Awesome. Okay, so there are some benefits to this. Cool, cool. That's it. Kindle, journal. Hopefully it's not raining because it's actually storming right now. It was storming all day today and I want to say it's going to be done by 11. Hope. I don't know if I can survive a drive and then also have it raining. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I will be fine. I think that's it. I'm just going to lay out my jewelry so that when I wake up, just throw them on. Yeah. Okay. Those are it. My pearls. My rose gold pearls. I'm tired already. I need to go to sleep. I have to say goodnight to Jamie. He keeps asking me why I'm still awake. It's 7.30 now. So it's been 10 minutes since I finished showering. He's currently peeling my boiled eggs. I don't think I need all 12 eggs jamie so don't pack me all 12 eggs okay <laughs> good night i'm for real going to sleep now <laughs> time check it really is 7 30 actually it's 7 25 i lied because this clock is 10 minutes ahead let's go to sleep <sighs> good night everybody i'm going to sleep for reals now you can end the video let me go to sleep close your eyes okay, close your mouth <laughs> go to bed okay. stop laughing I can't believe I'm actually about to go to work right now. It doesn't feel like it's only been two hours, but I actually feel like I kind of sleep for a long time because the alarm I didn't want to get up for. It really is only 9.50. Is Jamie still over here playing games? I went to the gym yesterday. Today is still the 10th, by the way. So I went to the gym yesterday and it was back and biceps day and I'm actually still sore. My back is sore, my biceps are sore, and I need sleep. I don't think I'm a lot of sleep at work, so this is gonna be really hard. I'm gonna leave my glasses in, I'm probably gonna leave my hair like this, and I'll bring a hair tie if I wanna put up in bun or something. But this is actually going to be terrible. Like, I don't know if I ever wanna do this ever again. Especially not after I just finished a shift. I'm not gonna wash my face again or put on moisturizer or toner or all that stuff because I literally did it two hours ago and I'm so tired. The way I see it is it's like international traveling. <laughs> I'm trying to adjust to jet lag right now or at least to whatever time that we're going to. Jamie's behind the camera making faces at me right now. But yeah, we're gonna pretend like I'm about to go on a trip, okay? I'm about to get on a plane and I have to be awake for the next eight hours to change to the destination's time zone. Yeah, okay, we got this. <laughs> I'm all dressed. I look like I did three hours ago. I can't believe this is really happening. Huh. My head kind of hurts. I feel like there's stuff stuck in my throat. I think I need food because I'm hungry. Ugh. What are you packing me, honey? Everything we talked about already. Look, it's only it's seven o'clock. Oh my gosh, you know, I probably could have given myself an extra 15 minutes of sleep. That was really easy to get ready. Look how good he's doing. Normally I pack his lunch before he goes to work, but considering the situation and the time flip, and it's nighttime instead of morning time. A lot of food. It's okay, Jamie. I need to stay awake. Oh no, I'm yawning already. I'm supposed to stay up for the next nine hours. What am I supposed to do? Okay, my Kindle. So our hallway light is broken. I have a maintenance order, but because it's been storming. You know, I talk like it's been a while since I've seen you, but it's only been two hours. I put a maintenance order in, and they're not gonna come until like another two days, I bet. I'm really going to work right now, dude. Why is this happening? Because you said sure. Out of all 20 tech, no one volunteered. It's because everyone else has kids, and they also work to shift. I'm the only other person that doesn't have a medical issue and doesn't have kids. <sighs> okay, let's go to work. I say it's night outside. I don't know what to expect. Are you gonna call me? No, I'll be asleep. Why not? Because it's 10 o'clock. can't spare another 30 minutes to make mm. sure I get to work us safely? No. Good. Would you stay up for me? I don't no. You'd fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be in bed trying. <laughs> My co-worker's still here. He has to leave because he had to stay a couple hours extra after his regular shift to 7.30. Now I'm taking over. We're about to hit 2 o'clock. 
So I've been here for three hours now, and I'm doing pretty good. Apparently morning Ronda's supposed to come at like three. So it's an hour, so I've got an hour to chill, maybe eat a little bit. I did pack some lunch, as I showed you before. Sorry for this terrible angle, but like, I have to be careful. I guess I never really explained like what I'm doing here. So I am in charge of chemistry, coag, and COVID swab and flu swab. I also am towards the front of the lab, so I also log in to specimens. Like whenever the nurses send down blood samples, then I log it in into our system. So that way, whenever our results come across, instruments will know which patients to send the results to, if that makes sense. It's about 3.42 now, and I've got three and a half hours to go. I'm gonna try and stay till 7.30 to make sure I get my full eight hours. I'm getting a lot of samples, because remember earlier I was saying that it's morning jaws, the morning labs, they're all coming, and it's pretty consistent. I've been getting bad of tubes to log in and run since about 2.30 so it's been an hour of me just waiting for tubes, logging them in, spinning them, and then putting them on the analyzers and distributing to all the other departments. Like the purples go to hematology, the blues go to coag, and I keep the greens and the reds. It's 6.45, I'm about to finish off my shift. I'm gonna stay until 7.30 to make sure I get my full eight hours. I also have to wait for people to show up anyway to take over my department. I'm actually very surprised. I lasted. I didn't fall asleep. I walked around, it's very bright in here. So it was really easy to stay awake. Okay, it is 7.30. Actually, it's like 7.37. I just finished my shift and honestly, it wasn't that bad. Considering I'm running on two hours of sleep and I didn't drink any kind kind of energy drink or caffeine. I'm pretty proud of myself. All I ate was boiled egg, avocado, strawberries, and a slice of cake because it was someone's last day, one of our phlebotomists' last day. I also had a fruit smoothie that Jane made for me with a scoop of protein powder for a little bit of an energy boost. That was pretty good. I don't know how I did this. I'm literally running on two hours of sleep. I pretty much pulled an all-nighter, which I don't think I've ever done before. The closest was probably whenever I had to stay up for that one molecular exam. That is pretty much all I have to say. I feel pretty good. I'm not gonna do it for a while just because it was kind of hard. It was peaceful just because of how quiet it was. And honestly, I made like maybe an extra 10 buck for today in the shift difference. I think it really only makes a difference if I was doing night shift consistently, but I'm definitely not gonna do that. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it informative, enjoyable, something, give you a little insight of what it's like to work a night shift and also what it's like to work a night shift as a day shifter slash evening shifter because I should have been asleep and I was not. So comment down below how you feel about night shift, if you've ever worked it before, if you would ever work it, if you prefer to work it or any of the above because I really like to know what your opinions are. And I've done it, I can say I've done it and I feel kind of accomplished. I feel great. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.